Hello, buenos dias. I just want to make a quick video talking briefly about the importance of accent marks in Spanish. I just want to give you a couple of quick examples and then uh, be done with it really fast. So, uh, their accent marks can make a world of difference in the written and spoken world in Spanish, and um, I want to show you why. And there are a million, I'm sure, more reasons why, but I thought I'd just give you a few. So, the first one is very common. Uh, you'll notice that the word C si with an accent mark over the I means yes. And then C without an accent mark over the I means if. So those two, diff those two words are pronounced exactly the same, but the spelling of them is different with the accent mark. So you want to keep that in mind when using those words. Next one down, say, uh, with the accent mark over the E, can mean a couple things. It can, it can be the yo form of the verb saber in the present tense, meaning I know. Or it can be a command, an affirmative to command from the verb ser, uh, like you could tell someone to be good with it. Uh, the other say without the X mark can be a couple things also. It can be a reflexive pronoun. For example, uh, you might have learned the verb lavarse, which is to wash oneself. Uh, and you could say like, you know, Miguel se lava las manos. Uh, he washes his hands. And the say is the reflexive pronoun in that verb. And then the other example, or the other thing is the indirect object pronoun. So in a sentence when you're saying like, uh, I pass the ball to him, uh, him uh, normally would be lay. But if I change the ball also to a pronoun, it would be la. So I'd have lay and la, and you can't have the two L ones together, so it's say la pa. So that's a little bit more complex if you haven't gotten that far yet, but uh, that is also what it can be. Next one down, we have the word own. Uh, to, again, these, these words are all, these ones also pronounced the same with or without the accent mark. Uh, with the accent mark, it means still, and the one beneath it means even. Uh, so, like, you know, he still has five classes, or. Um, I don't know, even tall people can't reach that basketball hoop or something like that. So that's how you could use those. There are other definitions of both of those words. Those are just uh, some of the more common ones. The next one down, the X mark changes actually the pronunciation of the words. So this is why it's more important on these ones. The first one, bebe, is the third person singular or he, she, usted form of the verb beber in the present tense in Spanish. So, uh, for example, mi amigo bebe la leche, my friend drinks the milk. The other one, bebe, means baby. Um, so the baby, if I wanted to say the baby drinks the milk, you could put them both together. El bebe, bebe, la leche. So hopefully you can hear the difference. The first one is bebe, and the second one is bebe. You'll notice that the stress of the word moves depending on if the accent mark is there or not. And then the last one you see a lot with um, verb conjugations with the present tense versus the preterite and other ones as well. So uh, the first one we have hablo, which is I speak in the present tense, and the second one we have hablo which is he or she or usted spoke in the past tense preterite version of it. There are, again, a lot of other examples. I just thought I'd just show you a few of them. Um, so when you are learning Spanish, try and keep in mind accent marks. I know at the beginning it's really hard because it's probably not something you're used to, uh, but they are uh, of uh, great importance. If you want to go more in-depth with accent marks and have kind of a more advanced lesson, if you're kind of far along in Spanish, search YouTube for Senor Bellas accent marks, and I have a, a lesson about how to, how to know when and where to add accent marks to words. So uh, send your balance accent marks on YouTube and you'll find that lesson. It's probably the first or second one. That's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.